The Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education is one of the oldest teacher training institutions in Ghana. It has seen continuous growth in student enrollment with over 1,000 students currently on admission. This development is taking a toll on the infrastructural capabilities of the school as it still relies on structures erected at the inception of the institution some 75 years ago. Staff accommodation, administration block, auditorium, and more spacious classrooms are the immediate needs of the institution. Management was compelled to construct an annexed administration block with internally generated funds to create extra working space for staff. Dr. Dixon Chair is the principal of Ameco. We also do not have an auditorium. We gather outside every time that we, we, we have to have such gatherings. And uh, in an environment like this where the rain will not even inform you before coming, it is, it, it, it is not working well for us. Here in particular, I don't have large classrooms. Uh, all the classrooms are small, 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 and I need large, uh, you know, uh, lecture halls. You can just imagine from the time I came here with a population of about 580, now we are 1,055. The class sizes are getting larger every day and we need large classroom sizes to be able to do the work and do it well. So that is another problem we need lecture for. Recently, we have uh, signed uh, some uh, documents Proving that government is committed to getting us um, a 300 bed capacity hostel for all the colleges of education. We are grateful. Another challenge of the institution is the preservation of food, as the kitchen lacked a refrigerator. Given this, the 2003 year badge of Ameko presented a double checked freezer to complement the work of the kitchen. A member of the 2003 year badge association of Ameko, Maunyo Agbe, and treated old students of Ameko to help solve the infrastructural challenges of the alma mater. And one of the most uh, disturbing uh, information that the principal gave us was how often time they have to travel from home to Amejofi every time to come and uh, just uh, teach. We realized that it's not the best. And uh, we are only pleading that what you just done as a 2003 batch we are calling on all past students of this institution. This is their alma mater. We are calling them to give back to this college. We are supposed to levy ourselves and see how best we can get accommodation for the students and the teachers. We, we can do this. It's doable. This is one of the oldest institutions, 20 colleges in the country so far. However, the government honored its promise of providing a bus to aid the transport of students and staff. Fred Kwame Asai, Joy News. I'm a major pay.